this week on Carolina All Out. We're watching them just come in like crazy. A great reason to come to North Carolina right here. Oh, right there, right there. What's up? <laughs> Ha, 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 look at that. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Mike. Big drum on Cape Lookout. This, this is, is Carolina, Carolina All Out. week, the All Out crew heads back to Harker's Island with great friend Mike Laws to target the big red drum that are found cruising along the shorelines of Cape Lookout during the winter. These bronze bees spawn in our sounds from mid-August through September, and you've seen us target them on the Pamlico on numerous occasions. After the spawn, they head out to the ocean to feed on the massive schools of Menhaden that form on our coastline as they spawn during the late fall and early winter. Most of our trips around the Crystal Coast start at the Cape Point Marina on Harker's Island, and this one is no different. Honorary All Out Pro Staffer Mike Laws is at the wheel this week, taking us to the shoals where the drums have been hanging out for over a month. I don't know if you guys can see, but we're right off here off the shoals that run a long ways out here. But the bait is pushed up against it, so the birds, we found a large flock of birds that are diving on these baits. It's more of that strategy that we're doing here. We're just trying to find out where the bait is. The birds are showing us, and then if we can get in close enough and get, get our lures to them, then uh, there's a very good chance. It's a little rough out here, of course, with the wind blowing like it is, and uh, we've got a boat out ahead of us. They're trolling around the outside edge of this, hoping to pick up something. There's a few other boats coming around, but that's what everybody's doing. That's the strategy right now. We're in, uh, in the middle of December, and uh, seasonably, well, it's fairly warm right now, so that's, that's nice for us. Um, and uh, it could be the thing that turns on the fish. We just don't know, so we're just here. We gotta be here, right? You gotta be close by and observing and seeing, and, once we get a chance, we'll move in and, and uh, start pitching to them, hopefully. So they're feeding heavy right now. We're watching them just come in like crazy. Oh, right there, right there. Big drum. Yep. 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 Yep.
This is what's so fun. Right here off Cape Lookout. Oh yeah. Oh, nothing like feeling that old head shake. Here he goes up under the boat. Oh, and I'm broke off. Oh, we might still have to go. Go ahead and catch him. Bring him in, Mike. I'll help you get him in. This is awesome. Well, you guys know we were talking about the birds. Where are the birds? And we've been out just cruising off the shoals here. Initially, we found the birds on the shoals. Too rough to get in there to them. We just had, Mike happened to see this big group of birds here. We came from about a half a mile away and it was just on. And just as soon as we got there, Mike pitched out, hooks up, I pitch out, and I hook up three more times and finally break off. Don't go away. After the break, we'll find out what Mike is hooked into. Oh, I think we got this fish given up. There he goes. He's at the top. Oh, yeah, now. that's a big old girl. I've seen his red tail. Yeah. Golly, how pretty. <laughs> Carolina All Out is brought to you by AgriSupply. It's what's inside. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware. Tools, cooks, legends. The North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt, go fish, go wild. Montgomery Community College. Blaze your trail. And by North Carolina Farm Bureau. Helping you is what we do best. Don't go away, there's more Carolina All Out coming up. The seas are rough, but Mike's 22-foot Jones Brothers Bateau is handling the waves like a champ in the waters off Cape Lookout. Mike has finally hooked up with something big and has been battling the fish for the past 10 minutes. This is a great reason to come to North Carolina right here. <laughs> ah, look at that. They're strong fish. It's cool water. They got plenty of energy. That salt strong out here. They feel it. Look at that dude. I don't know if I can get a head in there. We might get a handle for you to head in there. <laughs> <laughs> Mike! Right here on Cape Lookout, Mike just caught this awesome red drum. What a beast of a fish. You can do it right here. We were sitting here looking for these birds that are coming down, just hitting the water like missiles because these guys are pushing the bait up to the top and Mike throws out and catches an awesome fish, man. Whoa, what a, what a great fish. Yeah. Isn't that cool? <laughs> that is the coolest thing. Mike, congratulations on an awesome fish. Yeah, Look at that that's beast. A, that's a 35, 40 pound drum. Easy, easy. Yeah. There he goes. There we go. There he goes. Good release, guys. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> Mike. Awesome. That was exciting. There ain't no better way to catch a drum than watch those birds just coming down and driving into the bottom and bam, there he is. His mic was on. We ain't done yet. Looking forward to this. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> it is very cool. That's great, Mike. Hey, hooked up. Hooked up. <laughs> Right there under the boat. Right under the boat. I mean, I was just about to reel it in. He felt it as soon as I, as soon as I went, and I didn't know he had it. <laughs> now, right now, we're not, the birds are not here. We basically, we see the birds out that way, but the bait and the fish are here. This is where they are. So we're, uh, we're spending some time right here. I'm gonna put this man where I won't get tangled up in this and see, see how long it takes us to get this guy here. You know, you're talking about a, a five minute fight, a minimum for these fish here. 
All right, here we go. It's coming back this way. I got color right there. He ain't no slap. Not as big as Mike's, but he is a pretty fish. Look at that fish in the, Look at that big red. Look at there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Just a great drum. There you go, Mike. Oh, didn't snap on him. There we go. There we go. We are fishing right here off the shoals. Such history here at Cape Lookout. People come here from all over the country to see the lighthouse. And we can see the lighthouse, but we're also seeing these guys right here that are all up and down the shoals here. It's just an awesome experience to do this right here in North Carolina. You guys have got to try doing this type of fishing out here at Cape Lookout. It's awesome. There he goes. <laughs> Woo! You know, it's not bad at all to live in a state that you can do this right here. Even if you're from, not from this state, you can come out and do this sort of thing. There's plenty of great outfitters and guides here on uh, the Crystal Coast, and we are looking at just an awesome opportunity at this time of year. We're in December. We're not far away from Christmas, Christmas right now, and that was a great Christmas present, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it all day long, yeah, right? Yeah, that was wonderful. That is awesome. We'll be back with more right, Big go. Red action on the Crystal Coast right after these messages. Carolina All Out is brought to you by Farms and Land Realty. Selling land is what we do. Creek Boats, the ultimate in small boating. High and dry, work hard, play hard, Stay dry. The Dixie Deer Classic, the South's premier sportsman's event. Optima Batteries, the ultimate power source. And by Thorn Broadheads, the world's most accurate broadhead. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more Carolina All Out. Two to four foot seas, Chris and Mike braved the waves along the shoreline of Shark Island, watching and waiting for the gannets to start diving. We can see pods of birds out, just like before, but we're finding out that the bait has gone down, these fish are still here. So we're just continuing to make, kind of get in position, drift back through, get in position, drift back through. Not that hard. Got some birds over there, but not the frenzy that we were under when we hooked those fish up. All right, here we go. All right, we got a hook up. Get them, Mike. <laughs> right under the boat. Oh, these pin reels are, are squealing a little bit. Fantastic. Again, using these bucktails, mimicking that injured bait, because these guys are on fish. I mean, we, we were here last week and saw some of the largest groups of, I mean, I've never seen so much men hating in my life. And these are moving up and down this coastline. And so these fish are here, and uh, it looks like, you can imagine, that white through this green water is just coming down, and they're just picking it right up. Another great fish. Right in the corner of that mouth. Really great place to hook him. Awesome, awesome. He's not ready to give it up, Mike. Uh, no, he's not. Let me just get him up here so we can get control of him. <laughs> wow. You can hear that drumming going along. What a great. You see, they're not super red now because they're out here on this salt water and they clean up really nice. They turn really red when they get into the hamaco and do the sounds out here and that tinged water, but just, 
strong. Yeah, they're strong. They're strong just, and awesome. It's fresh, cool water. They're just, they're just. Uh, they're almost like a different fish to yeah. me. You know, they're, you know the, but they, they're an eating machine. That mouth, look at that thing. That thing is picking up fish now. There he goes. He got it. See ya. <laughs> I'm gonna do the COVID handshake yeah, right COVID. there. <laughs> Out here in the fresh air. Yeah, this is great, man. This is awesome. Right under the boat, wasn't he, Mike? Yep, right on the boat. Mike is hooked up again. He's got it. Shoot, he just took my. <laughs> I was just getting ready to wind it in to get out of Mike's way, and one picked it up, and he is not happy. He is not happy at all that he got hooked up. <laughs> Playing musical fishing rods here. Probably three or four running around with him, making what he's what he's got. Yep. There you go, Mike. There you go, Mike. Mike has landed his, and I've still got mine coming to the boat all day long, Mike. <laughs> all day long. That's a double got on. Chris still working his. This is what we call fishing. <laughs> Double hookups on fish that weigh 20, 30, 40 pounds. Look at that guy out there. There you go. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a net full of drum, red drum like that. The Cape Lookout Lighthouse, those diamonds right behind us. I'm here with my buddy, Mike Claus. Been coming out here to the Cape Lookout for quite a few years with Mike, almost exclusively. And look what we've caught here. Red drum right here within just less than a mile of the lighthouse. Blue water. The Crystal Coast is just awesome. It's just one of our many places here in North Carolina. But this is a fantastic place to do this and catch these guys right here. How awesome. Carolina All Out is brought to you by Browning Trail Cameras. Central Carolina Kayak Fishing. Bear Creek Arsenal, Hunter Built Customs, and by CWW Inshore Charters. Hey, welcome back to Appetite for the Outdoors, and I'm Chef Chad McIntyre. Today we've got a nice, quick, easy, fun fish dish. We've got some puppy drum out from Cape Lookout that the guys got for us, and we're gonna do kind of a caprese take on it. So we've got some fresh mozzarella, we've got some cherry tomatoes, a little oil and balsamic vinegar, and some fresh basil out of my garden. So let's go ahead and get everything put together, and we'll get this guy in the oven. So we're seasoning the fish up in our Carolina cooker enamel cast iron casserole pan. We've got our drum fillets that have been cleaned and deboned. We're gonna go ahead and put some salt and pepper on these guys. So we've got some salt and pepper on there. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil across the top, about two tablespoons worth for this dish. And then we've got about the same amount, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. So we're gonna put about half of our cherry tomatoes in the dish. We're gonna reserve the rest of it to go on top of the dish once we've done this first layer. So we're gonna put in our mozzarella cheese, and then we're also gonna cover it with some basil. I like to use the whole basil leaves. All right, we're gonna put some more of cherry tomatoes on top, another little touch of salt and pepper. Now that we've got the fish dish prepped right here, it's gonna go into our preheated oven at 350 degrees, and we're gonna bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes. So the fish has been baking in the oven for about 20 minutes. On the last minute, we turned it to broil to get some nice color on the top of this. This is a great dish. It's a really nice, light way to kind of present the fish with a lot of flavor. As always, it's great to take wild game in the outdoors, but it's even better to incorporate it into a dish. After working Mike's 22-foot Jones Brothers Bateau across the waves for a few hours, the boys get a hit. Oh, you got it, Mike. Mike, Mike. I don't know if you're hung up or what. Oh, he... Nothing out here to hang up on. <laughs> He's a big one, whatever he is. <laughs> Uh. 
And that's the way to do it, just sitting there in the holder. And letting that wave action actually make that make the bounce for you. That was pretty smart on Mike's part. And I'm sitting here working as hard as I can, and Mike's got me out fish already. Oh, that's nice. That's the right guy. The bird. Yep. We're not far off. Yeah, he's not ready to come. You don't like my hookers, y'all. That's for sure. Oh, there you go, Mike. Getting some, getting some back. Yep. Oh, there he is. Ooh, that's a, hey, that's a good one too. That's a big one. Yeah, it is. Say it was a shark. <laughs> ah, look at that. Look at that pretty fish out there. That sunlight hitting it. Oh, what a fish. Woo. <laughs> hey, this is about as good as you. Woo, buddy! Woo. Look at that fish. <laughs> I'm holding Mike's fish here, but we're gonna stand right beside one of those. Look at this thing. I can barely get him up here. Hold on. <laughs> Look at this. Always an honor to catch these big old drum out here. They live here, and they are all up and down the coastline. Takes a little bit doing to find them. When you find those birds and you see these guys are under it, it is a fantastic fish to catch. One of the great fishers in North Carolina. Thank you, Mike. It is. I mean, You're this welcome, is your man. fish, but man, I just have to thank you because we caught some too. What an amazing fishery we have here off our coastline of North Carolina. We can see the lighthouse in the back. I'm here with a great friend, and that's what fishing is so much about, hanging out with friends. Mike has put us on the fish today. We've had the best time. This is a heavy fish. That is a big, <laughs> it's a big bull red, that's for sure. <laughs> big bull reds here right off of Cape Lookout. I'm Chris Douglas signing off for Carolina All Out. And remember, our state is your next adventure. Awesome. Daisy. Ah!